right guys welcome to another episode I got three hours before an inch of rain comes I am trying once again a new spot this is a lowland ditch it has a lot of water volume to it it comes down this set of rapids right here and then leads to a big pothole very big pothole followed by another little rapid and another pothole we're gonna give this place a try. It's very, very dingy, unfortunately, but I think I can pull something out of here. Probably a channel cat, but I'm gonna try for, I'm gonna try with a lure first and see what happens. Stay tuned, let's get on them. I'm getting a bite. Oh, yeah. Definitely getting a bite. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. All right. This is feels better, whatever this is. Oh, it's a damn turtle. take them off. I'm going to have to cut the line. God. Goodness gracious, man. Boy, it felt bigger anyway, huh? I'm just going to get my scissors out. I have to cut him blow the weight so I get my damn weights back. Tie a new hook on. Ugh. Ugh. Well, darn the luck, guys. I tell you. I'm not going to torture that fish and try to get that hook out. Either way, it sucks. All right, guys, I got a nice drum on a bomber crankbait in one foot of water. Not bad. Believe it or not, they're in these rapids right here. You bang against rocks, but there's fish hiding behind them. It's crazy. A guy come down here last week and I was watching him. He was catching the hell out of channel cats on a road runner and white bass. Spotted bass, largemouth, and I just caught me a drum. Too bad it wasn't a white bass. Had a very bad year for them. Not a bad little drum. Not bad. Got him in the both hooks. Guys, I just beat my personal best red ear. I've gotten a ten and a half. This guy, we're having north winds and I was starting to doubt myself. I didn't want to put the canoe in, but never mind. It took me less than 30 seconds. Actually, as soon as my bobber hit the water, this guy went under. 
Oh my God. He's 12 inches. Holy crap. I gotta measure this guy. Oh my freaking God. Let's just see. He's gotta be at least 11. My personal best to this day is 10.5. He is 11.5, 11 and a half inches, guys. Eleven and a half. Wow. Nice red ear, man. Dang, he won't come off. <sighs> Guys, check out this red ear. Personal best. That thing is a big, fat female. It has got the orange ear flap. That is a big spawning female. 11 and a half inches. My personal best. I shattered it by a hole in. Oh this thing's going in the cooler. Wow. Another red ear, guys. Another nice one. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Another. He's pushing eleven. It's another female. These are female red ears I'm catching today. It's a giant. Without a doubt, for me it is. Maybe not for you Florida people. Wow. Just look at that beauty. Whew. What a day already. It's already been a good day. Yes. Oh, baby, compared to the other ones, but still. Nice little one right here. Boy, and he almost looks like a hybrid. Small the hook. He's still six, seven inches. That looks like a bluegill hybrid. Mixed with red ear. I could be wrong. Nice fish. I'm gonna put him back though. It's small. That is a Tell by the design of it. Nice little red ear. Alright guys, first fish from the canoe. Regular bluegill. Not big though. But it is
guys, I had put the canoe up due to the high winds making it impossible to fish. Caught me another bluegill. Just walking these banks. It's not bad. A little on the small side. Probably six inches.